Well, Mark and I started on our little trip today. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We uh, left Mark's house at Lytle at 7 o'clock. And this is our first stop. This is Brackettville, a little place called Alamo Village. Probably a hundred movies were shot here. Uh, all different places. So we're going to walk through this thing and look at some pictures. And uh, so everybody can get to see what we're getting to see. It's a restroom. It's only one on the place. Uh, but uh, you can see how old these buildings are. I'm trying to make them look like those old adobe buildings that they used a lot back in those days. And you know who that old fellow there he is walking away from us? We're going to go down there and see a lot of these things. I can hardly wait because every time I look at one of these buildings or something, I recognize where I'd seen it before. Of course, most people are not old Western uh, lovers like I am, and they won't remember them, but we'll try to tell you what we're looking at every time. Mark going in the store, he's looking for something to buy. Daytime. There's an old barber chair. We're inside the general store. They've got that kind of fenced off where you you can't get in there. Because you know we got a certain amount of people to tear the thing up, so that's what it looks like. Now, here's the doctor's office. And there's a hospital up there on that tier. Even got the doctor's name. That's Dr. Whitaker, MD. And that's to know they got a doctor around here. <laughs> yes, sir, Bob. Now this is a old saloon or cantina. I remember seeing this oh, in some of the John Wayne movies. Cantina. We're gonna go in here and look around, see what we can find, see in there. Okay, this is inside the old cantina. Bottles on the table. It's a high, high dollar place here. It's got a wood floor. Very interesting. Smuggler. Wagon Road Guide, Female Remedy, Great Blood Purifier. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting thirstier by the moment. <laughs> Wait a minute. Twelve-year-old ride. 
buy whiskey. Unbelievable. Fine stuff right there. Oh, the Mark, uh, Mark and I are thinking about go find us a goat or something, hook up that wagon so and we can ride. The interior of that, the bar was used in the movie Bandolero in 1967. Yeah, that's Willie Nelson's picture. And this is the same scene where, uh, Kenny Rogers used the rattlesnake to get the bartender to tell him where the bad guys went in Rio Diablo. Well, I'm glad we got that information. We won't have to wonder about some of these things, will we? Now, we're in a little church cemetery. It looks real. It's it's amazing that this was all done just for movie sets. Somebody went to a lot of trouble. A lot of old buildings, they don't, uh, a lot of times on the front of them, they'll tell you what, uh, got a number, you got a sheet, reference sheet that tells you what, uh, what they are, and this is just the back side of these. Has a restroom sign. There's a number, and those numbers tell you, look at the sheet, reference sheet, and tell you what the buildings are, what movies they were used in, and things like that. Well, there's a deputy. Deputy Marshal. No, we, we haven't done nothing. We're innocent. Maybe it's a Panasonic. A Panasonic. A Panasonic. time trying to put me and Mark in jail, and we ain't done nothing. He's, he's thinking about putting old Mark in jail right now, I can tell that. Yeah. My dad's from, I'm originally from around Waco. Well. A trading post. I don't see much in our trade right now. Another one of the two wheel wagons. I just know so many people didn't get that. Anyway, it's a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much. Sure. Look around. There's a lot. I guess you saw Dave, our other marshal, the big belly marshal. Yeah, we saw Dave over there. I'll have to spill. I'll have to come off her if you did. We're both loaded for bear with information. Got off the hook.
Okay. Well, we're looking into a uh, typical Mexican residence here. Pretty, uh, probably a residence of a rich fella. As you can see in there, there's tapestries on the walls. You got a big hearth over there on the other side of the table. And uh, it's a pretty interesting representation. corrals over there well we got another doctor's office Another part of the hospital up there on top. <coughs> oh, every boy sitting there waiting for a stagecoach. That looks like a bank. Sure does. Got your teller windows, got the big safe. This is a bank. Jimmy Stewart robbed this bank in the movie Bandolero. And Dean Martin robbed this bank and got, that's what they were going to hang him. They even had a vault. Yes, sir. Amazing. I guess this is where the banker lived. Fine bed there and tables. Mirrors hanging on the walls. Box full of gold. There's the bank we were in a minute ago. I don't know what the stools out there for. They don't want nobody hanging around the bank unless you got some money. There's a every chase a land surveyor. And the busiest man in town, the undertaker. You plug them, we'll plant them. My goodness, what a... Yeah, 
Yeah, they got the boxes ready. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> I knew that was gonna get him if he pooled around here long enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. Open Monday through Friday. <laughs> get that sign. You plug them, we'll plant them. You stab them, we'll slab them. You better not show my wife that picture. Unbelievable. Of that She's like, we'll Unbelievable. Get huh? Now there is a stage depot. And this right over here to the right is a first known wrecking yard. All old parts. Liver stable, stage depot. All right, here we are at the stage depot. And there's Bob, he's walking up, he's gonna try on one of them stage coaches for good measure. I believe it says US mail on there. Well, he's gonna interfere with the mail. Wells Fargo and Company. U.S. Mail. Stage Depot. What, what do you got in there? Huh? What you got in there? Nothing. It's just for luggage. Ah, he found the trunk. The boot. Ever wondered how these stages work? They got a whole suspension system in there. Now I'm looking inside of a stagecoach right now. As you can see, it's tucked and rolled leather interior. A 57 Chevy would be proud. Surprisingly, a lot of room inside here. I wouldn't have thought it, but it does have a good bit of room. Uh, Enough where you could pass a trip somewhat comfortably. And that right there is where my hero Slim Pickens used to ride all the time. Of course, he'd, he'd ride shotgun. Couldn't hit the broadside of a barn, but he'd be up there driving them and, uh, and riding shotgun. You see your luggage rack up there on top. See that plant right there is an agave. It's what they make tequila out of. Dude, there's a buggy. Yeah, it's an old buggy. There's Bob over there checking out the buggy. That's an 82 Cadillac, 1882. See, you can see the suspension there on the buggy. It's got shocks on it front and back. So uh, this is one of these luxury models for the highfalutin audience right there. And there's your wrecking yard right there where all the spare parts are. There's a good looking Silverado Chevy pickup truck back there. Fits yeah, right in with it. Ain't the, supposed to be here though. Fits right in with the uh Okay, this is the main street in town right here. This is like we're desperados entering the town for the first time. Of course if we was on horseback the camera'd probably be jumping up like up and down like that, but we're just walking. 
We're going to go over to the cantina and see what we can see. There's a, get them wagons from the milliner, milliner shop. That's Miss Jack Howard's type stuff. All right, Dad, you got to tell me, what is a millinery shop? Huh? What is oh, millinery? Well, I thought that was a clothing store. Oh, there you uh, go. Hats and bonnets, corsets and bracelets. But I don't know what the wagons are here for. They must just haul some freight. I know that's freight wagons. There definitely are some freight wagons there. And they must sure. just haul the, some freight in. Well, basically what you got here is a sewing shop. Working on saddles. There's a good deer head over there. In this case you need to see that. Good saddles they're working on. There's a saddle last right there. That's what they build the saddle on. There's an English riding saddle. Looks like the beginning right over here. Yeah, there's Marty's Bakery. In the Stockton House, that's a hotel. In the Stockton House Hotel, we're going to go over there and check that out right now. Rates. And here we are going into the Stockton House Hotel. You can see where the clerk stands and checks out the keys. There's the mailboxes. This must be what passes as a parlor. A couple nice easy chairs here. And there's your stairs going up to the rooms up there on the second floor they won't let us go up there they got do not climb there goes dad back into the back room now here's a big old buggy shop looks like where they work on all the buggies for the for the area here. You got small buggies, big buggies. I wouldn't mind having one of these, Mark. If we get us a horse. Get us a horse to put it in all one of these parades. Absolutely. A couple of desperados lying in wait right there. You see they're gonna bust out and start shooting any minute. Get that mule out of that building though. <laughs> Donkey. There's the law man right down there, the law dog. He's standing by to quell any kind of disturbance that might come up. Okay. There's a post office. So you got a flagpole out there. In the grocery store. On the corner. And you go next door is a, another cantina. Got to have them. Got the hearse in here. Huh? The hearse. The hearse buggy. Look in another buggy shop. There's old Doc Adams buggy. And there's a hearse. There's a family buggy. Sports model right here. They got plenty of freight wagons. There's one there, he just got hung. He's laying across the saddle. Fiberglass models. 
got no prospector. This must be a prop shop. Yeah, it's got to be. For, there's old sitting bull. It looks like it's just a bunch of bull. Yeah, this has got to be a prop shop for different. Uh, now, Mr. Bob's headed into the cantina to stir up a little bit of trouble. Go on in, I'm right behind you. Huh? I'm right behind you. I got you back. We're here in the cantina. This is an actual gift shop here. You can actually <clears throat> buy gifts and get you something to drink and eat and everything here. This reminds me of in the movie The Alamo where uh, John Wayne first met Travis and they had big big bar room fight and beer drinking and hell raising and we first saw that lovely little senorita in the movie. The Wardlaw Hotel. Yeah, that's where the big buggy shops at. Huh? That's where the big yeah, buggy that's where that all those buggies were and horses we saw earlier. Big hearse. dry goods store next to it. <coughs> and there's a law again. The law nowhere near the Pecos. No. <laughs> yeah, that's Judge Lord Bean's still made. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go check out the jail over here. Maybe they won't put us in it. Deputy is sitting there on. I locked him up a couple of weeks ago. He let a lock old Mark up, though. Okay, we're inside the marshal's office. <laughs>